You can now access all of the Sequence Read Archive's vast public and controlled access human datasets in the cloud, transforming any laptop into a high-performance computing device. In this Kinesis struggles with speed and storage issues, you might encounter using FTP to download large datasets from the NCBI. This short video demonstrates the steps needed to access public SRA data with Amazon Web Services. At the end of the video, you can link to a companion video describing access through Google Cloud Platform. I'll cover these three activities. Setting up a new cloud instance, downloading and installing the SRA toolkit within your instance, and configuring and testing the toolkit installation. To set up a new cloud instance, start with Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud, or EC2. If you are new to AWS, or just want to try out accessing SRA data, the free tier is a good option. I've now logged into my account, and I'll launch a new instance. For this demo, I'll select the first Linux server, accept the t2.micro instance type, and go to Review and Launch. I'll accept the defaults, but be aware that you may want to edit the security group and make sure that the region is set to US-East-1 in Northern Virginia. This will give you efficient and free data retrieval from the SRA. Okay, I'll click Launch, select a key pair option, and in a few minutes my instance is running. I'll connect to my instance using an SSH client following the handy instructions right here. The next steps are to download and install the SRA Toolkit, and those steps are nicely laid out in our GitHub wiki at ncbi forward slash sra tools, including installing and configuration. I downloaded and installed the latest version, 2.10.3. And now I want to show you in detail how to configure the toolkit because there are a few critical steps required to access these public data in the cloud. Type vdb-config and -i to get an interactive display for the configuration. The first requirement is to enable remote access, which should be selected by default. You can navigate this config menu either by tab or underlined letter. Type C and you can decide whether you want data cached locally or not, and where you want it cached. If local cache is enabled, be sure that you specify a directory with sufficient disk space. The next two settings are critical. Type A to set AWS as the cloud provider, and type R to set report cloud instance identity. That's it for the configuring process. I'll type S, then O to save, and X to exit. If you want to review these steps in more detail, See Section 5, Toolkit Configuration, on the GitHub Wiki page. Let's run a quick test of our toolkit installation. Type fasterq-dump and an SRR accession. This run takes several seconds to retrieve, and there are the two FastQ files. That's all for this demo. We'd love to have your feedback and questions, so for help with SRA data and the toolkit, write to sra at ncbi.nlm.nih.gov, and for feedback and other questions, please write to suggest at ncbi.nlm.nih.gov.